Welcome back guys. In the previous tutorial I have given brief introduction about quizzes in Adobe Captivate 8. In this tutorial I am going to show you how we can create multiple choice question in Adobe Captivate 8. Before we create a multiple choice question, first I will delete these other slides here. Okay, right now you can see there is only one slide. Here I have a one question uh, that is written in uh, notepad that is uh, when a gas is turned into a liquid the process is called. There are four options are there. Those are condensation, evaporation, deposition and sublation. Actually it is a multiple choice type of a question which we can create uh, using Adobe Captivate 8. So I am going to use this question and create a question slide in Adobe Captivate 8. To create that one first uh, we need to create a slide in Adobe Captivate just I will minimize this one. To create a question slide in Captivate 8 first we need to click on slide then I can choose this question slide. Here I can choose this multiple choice because I am going to create MCQ question here. Here I have only one question so I'll keep this uh, one as it is and this is a graded type of question you can choose whatever the type of question you want to create here then you need to click on OK as you can see here that uh, multiple choice question is added on the screen here by default Captivate added that question that is type the question here you can see and two options are added here so we need to change this one to our question to do that one first I will copy this question here from notepad and you can see here this is the question text box so whatever the question you want to add to the screen you need to type it here to add question here just you need to double click on that one and you can see there is a cursor blinking here so here you need to select this text and delete this one and add your question here so similarly I need to change these options right now there are only two options are there I need four options here to change those options in the right side menu you can see there is another option called quiz click on that one in that quiz menu you can see there is another option called answers right now it's two so only two options are available to you click on that one and uh, mention whatever the number of options you want to show it to the users and you can see there are some other options are there shuffle answers if you check that one these options will be randomized every time when user will come to this question and there is another option called multiple answer if you choose this one it will become multiple choice kind of a question where user can select two or more options and similarly there is a partial score option and what is the points you want to define so similarly there are different options are there so you can customize those things so here we need to add our options what I will do I will just copy these options and I will paste in these text boxes okay here I am simply copying those options and pasting here ok now you can see I have added four options here and out of these four options which is the correct one we need to define that one then only Captivate will calculate based on the user input then it will allot marks or points to the users out of these four options this second one that is condensation is the right one so to define that one you can see there is a blue mark is there right now it's uh, before uh, this evaporation that is first option so here I need to select or click on that uh, second option here now you can see that blue mark is on the second option so now this second option is treated as the correct one if user clicks on this option user will be allotted 10 marks that is 10 points which is defined here otherwise 0 marks will be allotted to the user and another thing here is if you want to provide any negative marking to this question 
you can see there is an option called penalty here you can mention what is the negative marking to the user here if you want to change the numbering style of these options like here you can see right now capital A B C D capital letters are there if you want to change that one to numbers or other Roman numbers you can do that one here you can see here numbering option is there here you can choose different uh, type of style here if you don't want to show any numbers or letters here you can choose none option and you can see those those letters are removed here so now multiple choice question is added on the screen to check whether it's uh, added properly or not click on preview and uh, preview this project you can observe here that multiple choice question is added on the screen too so user can select whatever the option they feel correct so after that one at the bottom there are different options are there clear means uh, it will clear the answer and you can go back to the previous screen and go back to next screen and they can finally submit the answer here so here user need to select their uh, option and they need to click on submit based on the choice given by the user you can see feedbacks are shown to the user here right now I have selected the wrong answer so it's giving me a negative feedback here so after this one I can just click on next so it's going to the next screen here you can see automatically scores are calculated by Captivate you can observe here there is a negative marking which we have provided while developing the question that is reflecting here and what are the correct questions I have made a wrong answer here so it's showing as 0 and total questions is 1 and similarly what are the attempts that is shown here and at the bottom you can see there is an option called review quiz this is very useful option for the users so user can click on that review quiz and he can review each and every questions what are there in quiz you can observe here there is a right mark it indicates that the what is the correct answer and what is the user selected answer that is in blue mark so this is how we can create multiple choice question in Adobe Captivate 8 thanks guys for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel that is e4e learning